Submissions 101, basic rubber guard positions and their names. Now, the rubber guard, a lot of people who are coming into the system, the 10th Planet system, they come from a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu background or are new to grappling, um, they don't know the names and I've had lots of requests for what each position is called uh, and going through that from a step-by-step -step, uh, method. So I'm going to do that today. So the reason the names are so strange in the 10th Planet system is um, Eddie designed them to remember each one specifically rather than saying foot on the hip or a choke from the guard it's kind of generic you don't really know what that means but if you have specific names you see it's a straight jacket you're in local plata or whatever then you start to know really understand what part of the system you're attacking from and where that's occurring now once i break him down we're placing the foot on the hip here leg comes up wrist to ankle this is called mission control Notice Jason has his hands on my chest. His hands are cupping his face, home alone, here, there. So that's mission control. Now, I'm trying to get his hand to the mat. I'm going to take my hand. I'm going to reach underneath, between his basic forearm and his bicep here. Grab onto my shin. As I'm popping this over, this is called the zombie. The reason it's called a zombie is like you're coming out from the grave here. So. To get the hand to the mat, I do a zombie. What I like to do is grab the shin, and then I'm going to pop it over and hug onto the knee. This is called New York. The reason this is called New York is uh, Eddie explained it to me once that uh, New York is the in-between stage between LA and London. Now, London used to be a move that we used in the 10th line system. We just kind of, kind of got rid of it. Um, but uh, So this is kind of the halfway point. That's how I remember it, and that's how my students remember it. So I'm in New York. I'm hugging the knee here. You'll notice the hand is on the mat. I still have that mish control wrist to ankle. I'm not grabbing on top here. I'm not grabbing my toes. It comes underneath. I kind of make a fist almost wrist to ankle. Very important. Now in this position, when I'm in New York, I'm really squeezing this knee, and this leg is squeezing tight, keeping the pressure on. Really important. Now from there, as I'm holding, I'm going to let go of my mish control, and as I let go, I come up, I clear his head and neck, and I'm going to cut in and reattach wrist to ankle. Now this position here is called chill dog. Again, I have that squeezing, I'm really squeezing my knees together here, holding. Now every position in the uh, rubber guard and the 10th line system usually has like three or four attacks from it. So that's kind of the beauty of this particular type of guard. So here I'm in chill dog. The reason it's called chill dog is you're just chilling. Okay, so here, now, I'm going to go for Kung Fu move. Once I'm here, I'm going to be pulling my ankle and leg in front of his face. Now, if you watch my arm, elbow goes up here, and then it rotates over my foot. Notice that I have my palm still on the top of my foot to there. That's the Kung Fu move. The reason it's called the Kung Fu move is because it has this kind of uh, movement working in here like a Wing Chun, kind of that Kung Fu thing. So Eddie loves Kung Fu. So you're here, coming in, chill dog. Now I'm going to go for the Kung Fu move. Boom, on top, there. Once it's here and the foot is in front of the face, lots of different options, but typically we push, extending out, coming in. Now we'll get into the Jew Claw position, which is here. So those are kind of the basics from that rubber guard. So break them down, mission control, zombie, New York, clear the net, cut it in, reattach, chill dog, then kung fu move, and then I can move to different attacks from there. So that's just kind of the basics um, and some of the descriptions of the names in the rubber guard.